This is Twit. One of the highlights of visiting CES this week was getting to see Darren Palmer. He's global executive in charge of electric vehicles at Ford and was one of the members of the team, Team Edison, that convinced Ford's CEO and board of directors it was time to make more than just another compliance car, but a real electric vehicle and controversially badged with the Mustang name. The Mach-E comes out later this year and we got an exclusive first look. Our board and our CEO said, it's coming to the time where the technology on battery electric cars is reaching a point we can deliver to customers what they really want at a price point that's viable for them, for Ford customers. And so they said, but we need to work in a completely different way. And we need to determine how, where to play and how to win for Ford. So they, they put together a team called Team Edison. And they were made up like a startup company, made up of different members of different skills that would work, create their own culture, work in a different way, and they're based in Cork Town in the center of Detroit. Yeah, we even took them out of the regular Ford Product Development Center, moved them into, into downtown Detroit. Absolutely, because we needed, we wanted to create a, a, a different culture, more like a Silicon Valley culture. Everybody's equal, I've got no office, in fact, I've got no desk. And we work at different ages and backgrounds and groups and listen to each other and work on the problems together instead of the hierarchical method. So that's what we put together. And the first part of that strategy came at, for Ford, we've been making compliance cars um, and we needed to, make, you know, to progress electric cars. You, you need to make something aspirational that people want to buy. Yeah, instead of, instead of cars that uh, you're building because the regulations say you have to sell this number of electric vehicles, you wanted to find cars that, or great cars that people actually would want. And hey, you know, I'm, that, your, I'm your prototype customer because I did buy a Tesla for that very reason. I spent a lot more money. This is a third of the cost of the Model X. I would, but I wanted a nice car, and I honestly, and Sam's the one who convinced me. I wanted a car company to make it. I wanted a he calls them metal benders. I want a, I want a car company to make it. A company with a dealer in my town that I can go to. And so when you guys announced the Mach E, I said, Sam, I think this is the one. He, he, he agreed. So it's interesting you chose the Mustang, Mark, because I had a Mustang. Yes, and I know a lot of Mustang owners. I think you probably thought we're going to be a little bit heated about this. But as a Mustang owner, I don't mind. I think that's great. It doesn't look like a classic Mustang, but it's got the Mustang lights, and it's got the spirit of the Mustang. I think that's maybe what's important. And we also wanted to do what's you know, authentic to us. You mustn't try, and be, mustn't try and be somebody else, okay? And that led us to what is our most cherished brand that, that we love and, and why? And one of those is Mustang, the best-selling sports coupe in the world for a long time. I launched that car in Europe and saw the love that was there for Europe as well. It's amazing. And, and the spirit of that, it, the performance, the looks, the emotion, and affordability as well. That's what's groundbreaking about that car. That's what drives us with, that's what Ford does. And so only now the tech was ready to be affordable to do that. So I'll take you around some of the input in the car. So the screen is obviously uh, dominant and, I, and I'll take you through how some of that interface works. I'll tell you works. what, immediately, I like how clean it is. Yeah. Very clean and very simple. And I think that that's important because electric vehicle doesn't need all the knobs and buttons. Absolutely. And, dials, right? it, we, and that's what led us to the larger screen with, without the... Uh, and Here's the other thing I like. I'm going to put my phone right here and it's just going to charge and it will automatically connect Absolutely. to CarPlay. I love yeah. that. So I think um, that's it, brilliant. You know, the, the center screen is a huge part of the car. Yeah, beautiful. It, it's a unique... Um, HMI is to say, and it has no menu, no back button, and no learning curve. So, and so here, for example, there are two things. There is you and a car. Right. So when there is you, you press you, it knows you, this is Jim, our CEO. <laughs> it will know you as you approach the car, it locks onto your Bluetooth low energy, loads your profile into the car, and all your settings are loaded, plus how you like the system display. So I'll talk all more. of your settings. Everything. It's not just your seat position, it's everything. Every single thing. Nice. And now, so another part of this is has is is to make your life easier. So if you phone your wife on a Monday afternoon when you get in the car, it will offer phone your wife on a Monday afternoon. Not on a Tuesday afternoon, because that's not when you do it, on Monday afternoon. Awesome. If you go to the gym on a Wednesday morning, it will offer this. If you jump out of your office and run to another place and go get coffee, that's it will awesome. offer these things up. So that's machine learning. This one is not got it on you. There's another demo over there. And you'll see that they'll be coming up here and it's you. The next thing is it consolidates all your stuff because people want their own stuff. Right. So it, via wireless, it will connect to the car 
and it has um, you, you can offer this is Apple, right? So yeah. you, you have CarPlay, right? But you also have via device link other things. So for example, Pandora. If you like Pandora, it will give you Pandora directly. He's actually using device link. You don't nice. know or care. You just no, use device link like wireless. In, in yes, this one? it is in this one. It's okay. the new version. Yeah, and it's wireless. All of your stuff will come to the front. And and we people used to have about four things: nav, radio, phone, music. It's a lot sure. more complicated these days. There's <laughs> right. a lot more stuff. Right. And so, if you want to change the radio, you can. You still have the control. It one knows push. because it, I, it says because oh, it's you what like you the radio. Because you what you use, use the radio. If you don't right. use the radio, it'll go off. And I've got six here, but. Really, most I've not, we watched a lot of people. They end up with these four, right? Is this part of Sync Three or is this something? Sync, oh no, Sync Sync Four Sync is the four. basis. Okay, but this overlay, yeah. the, the front end is an all new overlay. Nice. The internal team name was Menlo. Okay. Of course, they named themselves because software Menlo. teams name themselves. Yes, they did. So they named themselves Menlo, but the external name we call it is Sync Four A, right? Okay. So, okay. so um, um, okay. So, so these, these cards readjusting is a key feature, and it, what it means is most of the time what you you want is one right touch yeah yeah no, no swiping from the Very side smart. because because Very nice. you know, okay. so that's so that's a key characteristic there um and then the car so um one piece we our customers told us they want the driver information separate to right. keep this clean right and to always be ready so th and this should be right in front of my yeah. eyes yep and so this range show here that's not just a range that will show your key landmarks on it as well so it'll show your home and your work and it, what it's just showing you is i've got you got loads of power, right? Your work is back here and your home is here. You just at a glance, I've got loads of power to do what I want to do today. I, I haven't got stuck calculating. Perfect. So that's very easy. I mean, we know a battery gauge. We recognize that yes. immediately, and that's the range. You immediately recognize right. that. Right. And then by adding the landmarks on, you, you know how that's much range home, have I got. That's your work. Right. You nice. know you've got enough, you say. And if you really put the destination sweet. in, it's got, you go that's to the gym. Really sweet. And you can just, you just, you know, so it's that. That's uh, visceral almost. Yes. You really get exactly. it. Yeah. yeah. Now, you've got a Mustang, so notice ground speed <laughs> okay oh. i knew a mustang owner is going to know that okay there is cues like that absolutely i love that everywhere. well even just the pony here yeah everywhere this is exactly like my mustang armrest was i feel at home already right. immediately and yeah. that's what we want okay yeah so now here's another the one. only difference i had a stick <laughs> you, 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 you no did. stick here this you, is uh this is how you change the gear i won't touch it but that's the knob it is electronic it. and it, yep. and it and uh, um, and and you know infinite spin, so you, so you can do it without without having to look down. So it powered off because it was not yeah, started. Yeah, yeah. So um, here comes the AC. That's quite nice. So um, yeah, so that that's the, you can just you don't have to look down. You just spin. You just know, and it'll be there. Bit, bit. Yeah, and it shows here too. Yeah, it, it does. So you can you can see it. Yeah. I'm just clearing these. So um, so the cluster is important, uh, or the, the second screen here mm -hmm. now. But every setting of the car, so. It has full auto drive, mm -hmm. okay, uh, and with soft, uh, full of software update. Every single module is full software update. Most of them are AB swap, which means it downloads it first, says new, new ready, want to go? Power off on, done. Instant. There is no time. That's awesome. Because uh, you know, that's important to us. And if you My buy Tesla, concept, I would say you update it, you're going to be an hour and a half before you could drive yeah. your car. It's, it's, got, it's kind of the, uh, similar to the way a Chromebook works, where right. it downloads it updates in the Just background. Reboot. Right. Yeah. So that, that's all included with the car, as is all the updates. And, I and love so the thought that you put into this. It's as if you, you benefit from everything that's gone before and you're saying, how can we do this better? How, what, and most importantly, what does the customer expect? I think it's really great that you listen so well to your customers. Thank I think you. that's yeah, fantastic. That, yeah, that's Jim's new method of yeah. how to do this. Yeah. And, and it's ask, you You go early, don't finish it and ask yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, it's too late. They don't, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you ask, what do you want to do? Right. Not what is the solution. And so one is the door. So, for example, in the morning, when you come down, we ask which type of door handle. And we said to ourselves, oh, wrong question. No. What are you trying to do? <laughs> I want to get in. Well, I've got a coffee and a bag, and like so. When you walk to the car, it will identify you, and that. it will open the door for I you about three inches. Then you put your elbow in and jump in the car. And using Bluetooth LE on your phone yes. as your primary key. You Absolutely. do have a fob, but that's a yeah. backup. Uh, yep, we actually have the pin code on the side as well. So you can also even do if that. You, you lose your phone, smash it. You can pin code into the nice. car and pin code start the car. Nice. One of the big concerns, you know, for people that are, especially for those that are getting an EV for the first time, is charging. You know, yes. we're, we're, we're at charge. And yes. what have you done for that? Right. So this was the subject, again, really strong human-centered work. Yep. We thought about this and we started, we went in all sorts of places. Then we came back to, hold on, what do you need? Well, 
most people they need a level two charger at home yes so and many of our customers we anticipate might be buying this for the first time right they don't even know they need a level two right and they have to get right. into it or understand how many kilowatts and what type of installation we said stop it stop it what they need is the thing they need to charge the car with the car so we provide the charger with the car right now all you need is a dryer socket basically right. in the garage that's important because actually that my decision to buy a Tesla was all based on the supercharger network. And yeah. as soon as I learned you have CCS and you're going to have Electrify America, that makes a huge yeah, difference oh. to me. Right. Yeah. We, we, we have consolidated a network of 12,500 chargers yeah. in the US. Huge. Uh, and we put it all on the system and all you have one card access to all of it. That's, that's uh, because we, we've tried them and we know they've, there's like right. only four different cards and it's confusing. That's crazy. Electrify America will be tying into. That's, that's going to nice. keep growing. Everybody yep. can use it. And then we've got additional networks of green lots and others. But we're just going to make it easy for you. Yep. And you get a certain amount per month. Think of it. Yep. And you don't have to think about it. And the routing system, when you put a route, customers want to ask lots of complicated questions about how, how to charge and where to stop. Yeah. Basically, it just does it for you. It routes, tells you how long you've got to stop and for how long to charge. And that's all you need to worry about. And, it's, and you, the, the payment is already covered in the nice. thing. So you just don't, you don't have to think about it. You just put the destination it tells you, right? Darren, I only have one more question for you. When am I getting my car? <laughs> <laughs> so we've said uh, fall yes. this year. Yes. Okay. So I'm That's there. Enough. I'm there launching it. It's this year. Darren, thank you. Pleasure. I've touched you... the surface. There's many more. Oh, I know. <laughs> and you know what? We'll be covering this a lot because it's going to be my my new car. So I'm very excited about thank it. Thank you very much. I Jim. think you have nailed it. As far as I can tell, this is the car. This is the way to go. Thank yeah. you very much. Really, really, really I love the Greenfield development, starting from scratch, doing it right. Really, really great. Thank you. Thank you, Darren. Great Darren Palmer, take. what do you think? Should I should I take it? Oh, this should is a done deal. Just step on it right now? This yeah. is a done deal. Thank you, Darren. Sit the horn, people will move. Thank you. <laughs>